In this video, I show a couple of clips that were taken while I was out fishing showing how to use your electronics. I've only had my side imaging for about a year. Before I got it, I didn't know if it was really worth having or not. After having it and using it for a year, I can tell you that it definitely makes a difference. As you watch these videos, you'll be able to see the dots that are fish that show up on the side of the screen. It really helps confirm that it's a school of fish and helps you know the depths to target. Side imaging has become a feature that I use more than I would have originally expected. If you're considering getting it, I think it's definitely worth the investment. So this is what you're looking for on your sonar. You can see all those fish, those straight lines. Those are my down nigger balls. So you can see the depth I'm at. So I'm about 45 feet and 40 feet. Um, and there's fish all over down there. This is exactly what you're looking for, fishing for kokanee. I'm going one and a half miles an hour. Um, water temperature is 67 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about electronics and what you wanna look for when you're kokanee fishing. So on my right, this top one, it's the top screen is side imaging. And then my bottom left and right one is just a standard sonar and the right is down imaging. So on my side imaging, if you can see it, you can see all those dots, all these dots right here are fish. And they are down in the water column. So from here to here is below my boat and out to the side is actually, these are to the side. So this is down, we actually got a school right there it's down about 80 feet is where the middle is. We can look over here and this is blown up a little bit more. Um, so these lines across the top, those are our downriggers. And you can see these are fish. So here's school of fish, approximately 20 feet down. We've been seeing the most of them, right about 45 to 50 feet. So that's where our lines are right now. You can see here's a little fish um, that came up looking at stuff. Um, but the key is you're going to want to see where you're seeing, wherever you're seeing the most fish. Um, I would put your gear just above that. Fish will typically come up and get it. So you want to be just above wherever you're seeing the fish. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to check out our website, kokanee I have a kokanee 101 section where I go over the basics of kokanee fishing, including this topic and many others. I show the products I've had success with, along with links on where to get them. Happy fishing and tight lines.